So what are you ordering? I'm craving a hot soup. That soup is good here, actually. Mm. Uh, but I'll have okra. So. Okra. Mm. That's not a bad one. Good afternoon, sir. Um, are you ready to place your order now? Yes. Uh, Semo and okra soup. Semo and okra. Meat or fish, sir? Fish. Okay. Anything else? No. Okay, what about you, sir? I'll have whatever you're serving. Mm. You look amazing. Thank you, sir. But I meant, what would you like to eat? Your order. Are you on the menu? Um, no, I'm not. No. <clears throat> okay. I'll, um, I'll take fried rice. Okay. Turkey. And your number on the side. Anything else? Well, depends on how down you want to go with me. Okay, I will just bring your order. I'll be right back. Yes, please, and we'll start with a bottle of wine. Oh yeah, sure. I'll be right back. Oof. Damn. Dad. Hmm? I thought you wanted a hot soup. Well, I am... Um allowed to change my mind, right? Because of a waitress? <laughs> uh, come on. Well, hot soup just seems like something an old man will order, so... Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Well... Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. By the way, my name is Ike. Um, Rose. Rose. Yeah, and this is my father. I'll go get you order. Of course. Thank you. Introduce her to me. Yeah. It makes me seem more grounded. I mean, what guy with bad intentions would introduce you to his dad? Well, that's a misrepresentation of you. That you won't understand, okay? <laughs> For a girl, you'll forget her name tomorrow. Like I said, you will not understand. But the wine is nice, huh? Yeah, it is. So is the waiter. Oh, by the way, this wine is nice, isn't it? It is. It is. Don't tell me you just give that guy your number. <laughs> Why not? Listen, I know you're new here. Huh? But you see that guy? He's such a chronic womanizer. Really? Yes. Yes. Each time he's here, he's always with a different lady that looks like you. Looks like me. How? Yes. With big butts and big breasts. Exactly. So it's safe to say you are his kind of woman. Exactly. But I actually thought he's cool. I mean, he asked me out in front of his father, so that's something. <laughs> oh, so because he asked you out in front of his father, you assume or believe he's a serious person. Mm -hmm. Huh? Candid advice to use. That guy. It's no good. You better stay off. Look, you both might be wrong about this guy. Okay, fine. Maybe he was a womanizer, but that's in his past. Who knows if he wants to settle down now? And you think if a rich guy like this wants to settle down, he will settle down with an ordinary waiter like you? Ah, uh ah, -uh, come on now. Ah, oh. oh my goodness. <sighs> Funke, forget this babe. Let her go and try like the other ladies. She will learn the hard way. I don't have a shoulder for anybody to cry on. 
Because now buckets I will give you. Alice, stop that. Come on. I mean, a lot of rich guys do marry their house helps and, and even waitresses. So please stop that. That, that will happen in my case. Don't tell me that. Hmm. Oh, yeah. In Nollywood movies. Don't worry. Go try your luck. Eh? You go come here, come here, know the story. I know go here, you see my God will disappoint both of you. I'm a special child, so okay. don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Have I told you how beautiful you are? Thank you. Mm. So, should I get a room in the hotel or do you want us to go to my house? Your house or a hotel? I don't understand. I mean, why don't we go somewhere fun? Maybe the park or the beach? I mean, it's way better there. Yeah, those places are noisy. Okay, I want somewhere quiet somewhere where we can talk. I want to know everything about you. Wouldn't you like to know everything about me? Of course, I want to know everything about you too. So, sorry? Okay. All right. Ah. Yeah, well, I'll we'll get back there. Is something wrong? Um, I, I just remembered that I have a meeting now in my office. I, I can't believe I forgot. Oh. Uh, babe, I, I need to go. Is your place too far from here? Oh, no, it's not. It's just next to it. Oh, oh okay. Okay, um, um, I'll, I'll, I'll call you then. What? You're not going to drop me off. I mean, we're almost there. Babe, I'm going to be late for this meeting if I don't turn this car around right now. Listen, I'll make it up to you later, okay? Hmm? Okay, call me. I will. Okay, see ya. Okay. Hmm? Hello. What is a beautiful damsel like you doing under this hot sun? <laughs> Hi. Uh, Hi. Do you need a ride? Hmm. I thought you were going that way with a lady in your car. Me? Now you're going my way. Going that way? Are you sure it was me? Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. Look. Yeah. Okay. You caught me. Um. Yes, I was going that way. I wanted to drop my cousin, but immediately I saw you. Something just told me, turn this car around right now. And it's all your fault, if you ask me. My fault? Yes. I mean, <laughs> what man will see a beautiful lady like yourself and not look twice? Huh? I see you're a smooth talker. I'm just eating fat. <laughs> my name is Ike, by the way. Okay. You're not going to tell me your name? You didn't ask. 
May I know the name of this beautiful damsel? Sonia. Sonia? Yeah. Is it okay for me to have your number? Mm -mm. Come on. I dished my cousin because of you. Okay, um, if you give me a ride, I might give you my number. Oh, I'm going to give you more than a ride. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> If you need anything, let me know, okay? I'm here to make you happy. Mm. I don't want anything mm. for now. Good morning, Dad. Mm. Morning. I wouldn't ask her about your night. <sighs> As your guest. Well, she left very early. Mm. Um, really? Yeah. Where's this girl? Rita! Yes, sir. Give me another cup. You keep bringing different women to this house every night. I can barely hear myself. Oh, that it's not my fault. The walls are thin. But that's disrespectful. You bring different women here, I can barely sleep in my own house. Oh, Dad, I wanted to move out of this house. I wanted to get my own place so I can have some privacy. What did you say? Ah. Dad? Yes, son. I'm looking for my own place. Right? What do you need a place for? <laughs> I'm an adult. I need space. I need privacy. So what's wrong with this place? Um, is your house? You just came back? And, um, and I'm happy you just came back. Why do you want to abandon me now? Dad, I'm not abandoning you. Besides, the maid is here. I just... I need space, okay? I need uh, to... There's a difference between the maid and you. So I want you to be here. This is your house. You want to abandon me again? But like I said, I'm not abandoning you. You know the kind of lifestyle that I live. I just need privacy to do my thing. So no. You can stay here. You know, yes. I just don't want to be alone. Agree? Are you sure? Um, absolutely. Sure, you're free. This is your house. You can stay. Agreed. Now let's do it this way. 
<laughs> you, you, no, you're not that young. You need to stop behaving like this. Who told you, son? Does he have plans? <laughs> so you see, it's not my fault. Each time I tried to leave this house, it was always the same story. You don't want me to leave you alone. You don't want me to abandon you. So you see, it's not really my fault. Because your lifestyle is bad. You keep having different things. Dad, I'm a young man. I need to live my life to the fullest. Mm. Hmm? I'm sure you don't want me to start acting your age. Uh, Rita! Congratulations, son. Dad? Are you spying on me? Oh, no, 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 no. I saw you. Mm. But congratulations. I came to invite you for lunch. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Um, sorry, hold that thought, sir. Yeah, Rose. How much? Okay, come by and see me later in the evening. Mm -hmm. So how much are you sending this time? <laughs> it's just money, Dad. Mm. So what happened to my lunch? Yeah, about that, uh, Dad, um, I have a thing with Kunle, so... Yeah, I can't. All right, see you later. Okay. you again? Mm. What are you doing there? I told you to leave my man alone. Hey, I'm talking to you. Your, your man. Hey, um, Sonia. <sighs> You're here. Yes, baby. Babe, come on, you can't keep treating me like this. I mean, you asked me to come over and now she's here. <sighs> baby, uh, I didn't know she was coming. Sonia, why didn't you tell me you were coming? I was missing you. <laughs> Hey, 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 get out. Babe, tell her to leave. Babe, come on. She's already here. You know what? You know what? You both can stay. Let's have fun together. <laughs> no. Babe, she is not staying here. She has to leave. Babe, come on. I don't mind. The more, the merrier. Mm -hmm. Get out. Okay. Why did you slap me? Okay, I'm, okay. I told you to leave my money. Get out of here. Okay. Whoa, 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 ladies, ladies, calm down. Calm, there's no, there's no need to fight. Please, just calm down. Babe, no. I'm not going to calm down unless she get back up here. Okay, 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 okay. Um, Sonia, can you please leave? No, I'm not going anywhere. What? Babe, 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 babe. What are you doing? Babe, what are you she's doing? not going to stay here. Instead, we both are going to leave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you want to go, you are free. But me, I am staying. <laughs> you're a very big liar because you're getting out of here. I'm not going anywhere. I said I'm not going anywhere. Get out. I'm not leaving. I'm not going anywhere. Who, who would you I think you are? I don't want to tell you. Who you think you are? Look at this look how far. Get out of here. Get out. Get out. Leave my man's no house. Sense. Look at him. Go in. Don't you ever come to the house again. He's my husband. Don't you ever come to the house again. You're a boyfriend snatcher. That is what you are. And I swear, if I see you near my man again, I'm going to show you something. Me. Boyfriend snatcher. Yes, that is what you are. Ah, you are very, very stupid. I've seen it. Me, stupid. I dare you to say that again. What will you do? Eh? Because of, because of that national prick. You want to fight me? You are stupid. Ah, you girl. Give me my national prick. Which man? You don't have a man, my dear. That is everybody's man. You are very stupid. You are very stupid. You are very stupid. You are stupid. Something is wrong with you. Ah, no, stop it. Stop it. I will not get up. I will not get up. If I ever see you near my mouth. <laughs> Rose is becoming more possessive. 
Maybe it's time to cut her loose. Man. I guess I'll be wine. I'll be wine, shall I? Hmm. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Neka. Neka is not a bad idea. Wait, she's out of town. She's out of town. She's out of town. Joy, joy, joy. <laughs> Joy. No. No, not joy. Not joy. I know what it took me to get rid of her. Get out! Move, my friend! Baby, I love move. you. You don't need to get other women. I love you. you Please move? don't let me go. Please don't go. Please, I love you. I love get, you. Get, are you, are you stupid? I love you. Get out of my house. I love house. you so much, baby. Don't leave me. You don't come need other women. Please. Get out of my house now. Are you mad? Get out. Please. You are standing there. You Please don't let me go. Come on, get out. Go now. I love you so much. Please don't let me go. Baby, I'll change. I'm sorry. Please don't let me go. Look, you are fired. Do you hear me? You are fired. You are still standing there. Come on, move. 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 You have to let me. You see, you let them lock me down. Let me. Please, I don't want to go. Please, give me a lock. Lock me. Give me. Yep, Fatima it is. Let's call Fatima. Sonia. Hey, Sonia. What's up? I'm good. Sure, baby. You're free to come back. All right, see you soon. Perfect. Babe? Yes? I want to buy a Birkin. How much? 10000 Naira? No. $10,000. A bag is $10,000? <laughs> it's even the cheapest. Yeah, should be. Let me see. <clears throat> Look. This one <clears throat> is $33,000 mm. and this one over here is $50,000. Hold on, let me see. What are you doing? I'm ordering the bag for you. What's your shipping address? You can use here as the address. Done. Oh my god, baby! <laughs> You're the best! Come here! <laughs> <You're okay. laughs> Sorry, I'm
At the end of October, I am retiring. And the position of a chief executive officer and the chairman of the board of this great company will be vacant. And both of you are eminently qualified to vie for this position. What are you doing? If you know you're qualified, you have a GPA of 4.6 in your first degree, and you have a master's degree from the University of Toronto. And since you became the chief operating officer of this company, you've done so well. Great. But your nephew here, Liu, is also eminently qualified. He has 4.3 GPA in his first degree. And since he became the head of production, in the last three years, we have moved in leaps and bounds in this company. And our product quality has improved tremendously. Well, I do know that naturally, you are my son. I should hand over to you. But this is business, and I have an emotional attachment to this. Let the best man win. This is bullshit. Can I, can I speak with you? Feel free. Uncle, what are you, what, what are you doing? Well, you, since you became head of production three years ago, your department has added a um, whole lot to the company's progress. So, why can't you be the CEO? Thank you very much, Uncle. I, I'm, I'm very grateful for this. I also want to remind you that E.K. Chuku is eminently qualified. As a chief operations officer, he has added value to the company. And so, um, let the best man win. Thank you, Uncle. Uncle, I'm, I'm very grateful for this. And I promise you, I, I will not let you down. Good luck. Thank you, sir. Just coming to meet you. Okay, please, you need to cover for me, oh. What? Don't tell me you want to go with that guy again. He needs me, so I need to go with him. What is wrong with you? Because he told me the last time that you were done with him. And you were never going back to him again. So what happened? Look, Funke, I know that he's not the best sometimes, but trust me, he's a good person. I mean, he's not all that bad. <sighs> Bruce, what is wrong with you? Why do you keep running back to a guy who treats you like trash every time? Is it because of money? Eh? He even gives you just little. What he gives you is just crumbs. What is wrong with you? Okay, you will not understand. You won't understand. But just trust me. You see this guy? He's going to fall in love with me so deeply. And all this will be worth it. So don't worry. Huh? Keep deceiving yourself. Huh? But when you go to him and he makes you cry again, do not run back to me crying. Because trust me, I will not be here to dry your tears. Mm, yes. Don't worry. Don't worry. Just, just cover for me. That's all I need from you right now. Just cover for me, oh? Everything else will be fine. You know what's up now? I'll cover for you, but you have to pay me. Don't worry. If you like money, I'll pay you. Just cover for me. I'll be back, okay? <sighs>
you're going to help me order a cab to take you back home. Okay. What? So you're not going to take me home? Um, babe, something came up and I need to run right now, but I'll, I'll call you later. Babe, this is what you said the last time, but you never called. If I didn't call you, then why are you here? Because you came to the restaurant. Babe, I came to the restaurant because I knew that I was going to see you. Okay, look, I'll make it up to you, okay? I'll, I'll call you later. All right? Oh? Huh? Promise. No problems. Okay, give that some sugar. What do you think you're doing, pitting me against Leo? Look, I know he's your nephew, mm. but expecting me to compete with him is an insult to me. Well, if you don't want to compete with him, then win. I will not compete with anyone for what rightfully belongs to me. What has he done for the company? I worked hard every day to put us where we are today. Yep. But the company is mine. I take the decisions. Yours? Mm -hmm. Look, I don't know what sick game you're trying to play, but instead of competing with that boy, I'd rather leave the company. And when I'm leaving, I'll pull my resources, my contact, every last one of them. Oh, really? You can leave, establish your own company. Then I hand over this company to Leo. That's all you're going to say? Oh, but that's your decision, not mine. <laughs> Where do you think you're going? Where does it look like I'm going? Of course I'm leaving. Why? Why? Mm-hmm. That is such a ridiculous, why? Are you being serious? You watch me work tirelessly for your company and you had no intention of letting me take over and you're seriously asking me why? Yeah, because you're a womanizer. You can't let a night pass without a woman in your bed. And what does that have to do with anything? It doesn't stop me from doing my job. In fact, I am literally the best at this thing. I agree. We are actually the best. But the problem is that I watched you buy a handbag for a lady for $10,000 and so? she's not even your wife. So? So? It's just money. Of course it's just money. I'm not bothered that you spend your money anyhow. It's your money. I'm not really worried about that. But I'm worried about the fact that one day you could knowingly, with your eyes wide open, hand over my company to a woman. I didn't do that all these years, and you seriously think that I'm going to do that now? Oh, you can't you go, you can't you go, my son. No night passes without you bringing a lady to your bed. In fact, they come in droves and keep knocking at my door at odd hours, odd hours! <sighs> Dad, this is such a hypocritical behavior. You're only saying this because I live here. I wanted to get my own space. I wanted to get my own place. What did you say to me? You told me not to abandon you. And as a good son, I decided to stay back. I decided to sacrifice my happiness, my personal preference for you. And this is what you're telling me? It has nothing to do with your staying here. It just has something to do with your character flaw. Do you think that I don't know you bring women to the office? That is my personal life. My personal life and my professional life are two different things. They are not two different things, right? A man that cannot manage money. Your money management style is so horrific and abysmal. 
I can't hand over my company to such a man. Then keep your company. I know what I bring to the table. And if it's not good enough for a Zubike group of companies, mm. then I'll build mine. You need to calm down. You really need to calm down. Stop telling me to calm down. That man thinks he can control me and I will not I, allow it. I come to think of it, your dad has a point. I kill with different women every single day. What is that supposed to mean? Listen, Whose side are you on? I am on the side of the truth. IQ and I know you have like 10 girls, 10, that use you as their, their constant ATM machine. Ah, can, you st can you just stop being dramatic? I give only when I want to. Which is all the time. Ike, all the time. Come, I'm telling you, why don't you look at things from your dad's perspective? The man is just scared and is worried that you will squander his money on women and bankrupt his company. Then let him keep his company. Uh, hi, sorry. Hello. Hi, hi, how are you? Hi, my name is Ike. I, I saw you over there and I just thought that we could uh, have drinks. If you meet the conditions, <sighs> you want me to be celibate for three months? Yes, three months. No woman, past, present, or future. If you can meet the conditions, then I know you have the resilience and self control to run a large conglomerate like mine. Let let me, let, me, let me get this straight. You're giving me conditions to receive my own birthright? It's not your birthright. It's my company. My father didn't leave any for me. Oh. What to hell with your company? Hi, I... Hi, it's Bimbo. <laughs> um, hi. Bimbo, hi, how are you? I'm good. Is that your father? Nice to meet you again. Ike, you said you want to start your own company. You don't think I can? Ike, you've been working in your dad's company for quite a long time now. Your blood, your sweat, everything, your time. And you want to give it all up? Okay, yeah, your dad is the CEO. We all know that. But you've been the one overseeing things in that company now. So why, why do you want to give it all up? Well... It's obvious he doesn't see it that way. And I'm going to pull out my resources when I start my own company. Listen, Let me see what that Leo will do without me. Listen, like, you're just angry and you're firing up. You need to calm down. Starting a new company is not easy. But you did it with less resources than I have. Yes, I did it with less resources. But it took me years and years of hard work to get to this point where I am. Listen, anyone telling you they are going to assist your company, once they discover that you're no longer under the umbrella of a big company, they will think twice before they come to your aid. So what are you saying? All I'm saying is, accept your dad's proposal. You've worked so hard for his company. I should accept to be celibate for three months. Three, three months. months. We both like, it's impossible. It's just three I can't months. do it. It's just... Three months. You can do it. I cannot do it, guy. I can't. 
okay, how about you accept the proposal? Then if you have to do it, then you hide it and do it. I mean, nobody needs to know. You know how they do like this now. Must I tell you everything online? <laughs> My nigga. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no follow. <laughs> Brilliant idea. Yeah. Brilliant idea. Love it. So it's up to you. So you came back? Yes, I'm back to accept your challenge. What challenge? I'm going to be celibate for three months. After which you will name me CEO. Are you sure about that? 100%. Oh. That's it. Give me a minute. Sign. Yes. That if you fail, you forfeit everything that I, Chief Ndukwe Azubike, would have given you. And you go back to the streets and start afresh. Of course, you have the resources to do that. What is this? Why are you doing this? I think it was better you left. So you're saying that I can't stay without a woman? I didn't say that. It is your choice. Deal or no deal? Deal. I'll show you that I'm a better man than Leo. I didn't say he's better than you. I only said that if you fail, I will automatically hand over the company to Leo. One more thing. I hope you're not planning to play a trick on me. I will assign you a bodyguard. A bodyguard? Oh, yes. The bodyguard starts working Monday. You have a chance to back out right now. Because when the bodyguard resumes on Monday, you don't have a choice anymore. That's finished. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Sir. <laughs> you know what? I I probably deserve that. I can't believe I forgot about someone like you. My name is Kiki, and I'm very sure we have never met before. Miss Lawal, you're already here. Good afternoon, sir. Aha, good afternoon. And where's your bag? I left uh, it outside, sir. Um, that? Beth? Who is she? Oh, that's Miss Kiki Lawal, your bodyguard. M my bodyguard? Yes. Do you have a problem with that? She. My bodyguard. Oh, yeah? Um... Sorry, excuse me, sir. I'll just get my bag from outside. That's all right, Miss Lawal. Thank you, sir. Excuse me. Dad? Yes? How can you hire a female 
to be my bodyguard. You have a problem with that? Whether it's a female or male, she's only doing her job. Of course I have a problem with it. How do you expect me to be with her without doing anything? Have you seen her? She's dangerous. You want to back out now? Well, you can't even back out. The contract has been signed. Well, um, Rita! Rita! Guy, you need to see this babe. She's well packaged. She's everything I want in a woman. And my dad packaged her and presented her to me. <laughs> Guy, <laughs> well, that's me, you. <laughs> Let me be honest with you. I, I, he does he want you to fail? I don't know, man. I, I don't even know. <laughs> but I can't back out. I can't. No, no. You can't back out now. You can't. You've worked so hard for it. You need to find a way to fight this and win this game. How do I fight with temptation staring at me in the face every day? How? <laughs> My guy, I don't know. I don't know. But you need to find a way to win this game. Yeah, man. <laughs> you need to. The only thing I can think of right now is to seduce Miss Bodyguard over to my side. <laughs> this guy. Your brain. <laughs> your brain works, so. I, I mean, by the time you seduce this girl, I don't even know what's in the goal. Exactly. Bad guy. <laughs> Looking forward to it. Uh-uh. <laughs> oh, more. <laughs> see, see, who, who hires I you said five. a female bodyguard with Nyash but to you, protect his son? You mm -hmm. like Nyash. Uh-uh. Yes, you know, that you just take your eyes off. In Gengar, I'm in Mount Everest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Where's Miss Kiki? She's waiting for you outside, sir. Okay. Um, have you seen my car key? Yes, sir. Miss Kiki took it to warm your car. Thank you. Clear this. Okay, sir. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine, thank you, sir. Are you driving or am I driving? I'm driving. You know, you're very beautiful. A ten. Is Mr. Ike trying to flirt with an employee? I'm only trying to give you a simple compliment. Besides, you're not my employee. You work for my father. Thank you very much, sir, for the compliment. But we both work for your father. So, I'm curious. Why would a beautiful lady like you choose to follow someone around when she can be so much more. It's a good paying job. Can we leave now? Alpha, who is she? Why will you be asking who the lady with the boss is? She's probably the flavor of the day. Exactly. Where a guy is concerned, women are nothing. Honestly, I don't know what this lady's 
see in him a man who sleeps with different women every day. Well, he has the money. And the rumor has it that he is very generous to fault. <laughs> Indeed, wasting his father's money on women. The only reason why he is the COO is just because he's the boss's son. I'll be at the door. Good morning, sir. Oh, hi. Oh, you must be the bodyguard everyone is raving about. Do I need to announce you? Oh, no, 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 don't worry. I'm sure you exactly what I've done. I think I was neat. Okay. Um, give me a call. I can't believe Uncle hired a lady to babysit you. <laughs> what do you want? I need you to approve this. And you couldn't send your secretary or email it to me? I missed the chance of meeting your gorgeous babysitter. Huh? Uh, tell me, how many times have you slept with her? I mean, I know she is your time. You know, I could fire you for insubordination. No, 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 you can't. You can't. You and I are actually running for the same position. Which means that we are on the same level and I might actually end up being your boss. Out of my office. I can't wait. You know, I actually can't wait. Look, I know she's very gorgeous. Right, and just don't, don't get her pregnant. You know, it would be difficult for her to babysit you. Get out of my office! <laughs> For me, sir. Yes, I did. I'm expecting a female client and I'll be having a long meeting with her. Okay, sir, I'll be right here. What I mean is you can take a break, go for lunch or do something with yourself. You don't have to stand at my door all day. I'll be fine. My job is to be by your side every minute of the day, except when you're sleeping. And besides, I have a strict instruction to not leave you alone with a woman. What are you saying? I'm saying I will be right here while you have your long meeting with your female client. What? I need my privacy. Um, well then, you can leave the door open, whichever is convenient for you, sir. Kiki, I'm your boss and I'm ordering you to take a break. Like you said earlier, you're not my boss. I'll go back to my posts if there's nothing else you want, sir. Thank you, sir. Naughty right. boy. Mm -hmm. For you. <laughs> um, um, what? what? Uh, just uh, sit. Okay, sit Why? Talk. Just sit. Okay, well, what can I offer you? What, what would you like to drink? I want to drink from here. Okay, 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 okay. 
Uh, Sonia, please just sit, okay? Please. Why? Who is this? What are you doing here? Can we reschedule, please? Reschedule? Babe, you told me to come here. I know, but... Is it because of her? Just... You. Who are you? And why are you standing here like an apparition? Um, Sonia, please, can you... Can you just go? We'll talk later, I'll call you. Okay, Baby, please. you made me all horny on my way here. I don't want to go. Just just go for now. It's, it's not a good time, okay? Look, if she doesn't want to leave, she can stay and watch. I don't mind. You, Maybe. You have to go. Please, just go. Go. Please, just go. It's not a good time. Just go. Please. Sonia. Get out of my office now. Do you need anything? Get out of my office! Please! Oh, fuck. Sir, are you okay? Do you need anything? Just go! Leave my office! I need privacy! That's what I need! God, just go down, please. Go down, go down, go down. Beg me, please, just go. Where's my phone? Where's my phone? Oh, Kune. Kune. Yeah, um, I need help, man. Odogu is not going down. Yeah, Kune. I need help. Odogo is not going down. Please, what do I do? What? I can't do that. You, you know that doesn't work for me. This is not the time to blame me. What do I do? In the office? and people are already talking about how my father got me a babysitter. It doesn't make any sense. I mean, I was in the bathroom for 30 minutes and guess what? She was at the door waiting for me. Really? What were you doing in the bathroom for 30 minutes? The whole 30 minutes? That, that, that's not the point. No, but that's the point. We had an agreement. If you're not up to it, just throw in the towel. There's no shame in accepting defeat. You can do that now.
Here. For you. Why are you getting me a gift? Because I like you, Kiki. It's only been a day. You don't even know me. <laughs> Kiki, I don't need to know you. You're a beautiful and smart lady. And there's no law on earth that says that I can't like a lady or buy her things until I know her in and out. Sir. Ike. Please call me Ike. You're my boss. Okay? And it's inappropriate to call you by your name. If you're trying to bottle me up, it won't work. Kiki. Look, I, I know that you're trying to be professional. But you can't deny the fact that there's, there's something between us. Something? Something like what? The tension, the, the energy, the, the chemistry. Look, I know you can feel it. I feel it too. And I know that you like me too. My father doesn't have to know about this. Sir, so you're not only trying to flirt with me, you're also trying to corrupt me? Do so what? No. Kiki, name your price. Anything you want, I'll make it happen. I am here to do a job, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. Come My on. job. Kiki, come on. Don't tell me you've never bent the rule before. Not since I was 18. Not even once. You're not allowed to bend the rules in the military. Wait, you were in the military? Yes, since I was 18. This man wants me dead. What? Nothing. Okay, let's go. What is it? Nothing. We got a fish tonight. We light it. Oh, 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 yeah. We up in the air. We up in the air. We got a fish tonight. We light it. Oh, 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 yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
this one that you came to my place saying, ah, it's just so amazing. <laughs> Bro, what's happening? Which, which guy set up with this now? Wait, this is a case of asking the dog to watch over a bone. It's the ultimate test, man. <laughs> I don't even know what to tell you. But I'm so frustrated. Do you know that every night I I have to take cold showers before I can sleep? <laughs> Sometimes if I don't even feel sleep, I, I gotta take sleeping pill. Guy, this is torture now. Why are you torturing yourself? Do you think I'm enjoying it? All I can think of is sex, sex, sex. <laughs> <laughs> It's frustrating. I, I, I don't even know what to do. And now that I can't have it, sometimes I could just did imagine uh, some of my fantasies. They remember the things I don't do for before. Oh, why are you doing this to yourself? Let me tell you. First of all, taking a cold shower several times a day, do you know it can damage your lungs? Then, not to talk of the sleeping pills, you keep taking, you know you can get addicted. And come to think of it, why are you constantly having a hard on? Why? Are you not listening to me? I can't help it. I can't help it. I need, okay. I need suggestions. The only suggestion here is get your minds off the gutters. Stop thinking about it. That's the only solution. I, I can't even remember the last time I was celibate. No, I haven't had sex in three days. Three days. I'm not normal. I'm, I'm, I'm not normal right now. <laughs> So do you want to give up? How? How now? So my dad can be happy. <laughs> or so that stupid Leo can be happy. He's already acting like he's the CEO of the company. And then you have to look for a solution. You have to look for a solution to all of this. <sighs> what, what solution? <sighs> Try exercising. Yes, it works. <laughs> do it, it works. So now exercise be the solution for Konji. Make her the exercise from morning till night. <laughs> no, no exercise. Wait for me, bro. <laughs> Don't keep us standing. <laughs> Let me release you. <laughs> Guy. No, no. Be careful. Bro. Be careful. Bro. <laughs> Yeah, but that's all I can do for now. Okay. Send the details to my email. Thank you. What is wrong with you? Why are you just standing there like a stick watching me? I'm not doing anything. Go get busy with yourself. Do something. I'm sorry. What are you doing? Um, the weather is so hot and you asked me to do something. I just need to get in the pool.
Jesus Christ. What is this? Why do you have this kind of body? What kind of nyash is this? Man, I can't stop thinking about it. Like, what exactly do you hate the most? Like, what irritates you? What's that thing that disgusts you? Why? The reason why I'm asking is because whenever you think about this sex, you can replace it with those irritating thoughts. You could just say, the thing would just stop it or you could just throw it. Yeah, I, I don't think that will work for me. Do you know how many times I think about sex in a day? Finish this proposal. I mean. push-ups in the office. Mind your business. Is everything okay? Sometimes it's best to discuss what's troubling you. Yeah. So you and my dad can laugh over it. Laugh over what? Stop pretending. You think this is a joke? What are you talking about? All I know is that your dad hired me to be your bodyguard for three months and gave me strict instructions to never leave you alone with a lady. Each day you're in here struggling. I don't know what is bothering you. So that's all you know? Yes. Trying to finish up a project, so maybe I can help you with that. I doubt. Try me. Uncle, are you sure he's coming? Just give him a little time. Busy with your old babysitter. Let's go. Okay. 
reading. What are you reading? War strategies. Wait, you just sit and read about war strategies? Yes. I thought you were no longer in the army. Yes, but I miss it sometimes. You miss it? <laughs> Why would anyone just miss being in the army? <laughs> I do. Uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> Good old days. Good old days. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Rita! Rita! Yes, sir. Get the door. Hello. Hello. Thank you. Good evening, sir. Tell Ike that one of his women is here. My name is Rosa. Does it really matter? Babe! Rose, um, what are you doing here? Come on, babe, babe I missed you. Babe, are you all right? Yeah, you, you should have called me. I've been trying to call you, but you're not taking my calls. Um, um, I've, I've just... I've been busy. Babe, are you, are you breaking up with me? Uh, what did I do wrong? I didn't do anything. Rose, you have to go. No, I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you later. Babe, I, just, I came here to see you. Oh, you need to go. You need to go. Babe, okay, we'll talk later. Babe, what's going on? Just go. Babe. Okay. I'll talk to you. I'll see you soon. Just go.
son. Son, are you all right? Easy. I've tried everything to, to forget, but I can't forget about it. I'm thinking about it day and night. It, it's always on my mind. What am I supposed to do? And then to make it worse, you, you brought that nicely shaped daughter of Eve in the, in the name of a bodyguard into this house. How am I supposed to concentrate? How am I supposed to focus? That it, it's fine. It, it, just hand over to Leo, please. I, I, I can't do it. I can't. Don't you think it's a problem? I don't know. Dad, I... I honestly don't know. Don't worry, son. I'll help you find a solution. Uh, think about it. So relax. See you later. <clears throat> Thank you very much. Uh, Why don't? Uh, 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 this is Dr. Phillips. He's a sexologist. A what? A sex therapist. A sex therapist. Um, he will have some discussions with you. Okay? Um, Dr. Phillips, I will leave you both. Okay, thank right. you very much. So I'll see you when you're done. All right. Uh, Mr. Ike, my name is Dr. Philip, and uh, I am a sex therapist. You can call me Ike. Okay, uh, you can as well call me Philip. Now, if you are asked to describe your problem, what will you say? I like women a lot. Okay, that's good. Is it just that you like women? Because I like women too. <laughs> I like sex a lot. I'm addicted to sex. I, I think about it two four seven. Okay, good. Um, you will agree with me that Defining a problem is the first step to solving it. So I want you to know that this is a safe, judgment-free space. I assure you, whatever you share with me here will be absolutely confidential, okay? Uh, so let me ask. How does your addiction affect your day-to-day -day life? I've, I've tried to stop it, but it's not working. And to be honest, it's ruining my life. I don't even have a girlfriend. All I do is use women for sex and pay them money. And I move on. Oh. Uh. Thank you for sharing, okay? I understand it has been pretty difficult. But then, let me ask you. 
are there situations or feelings that trigger this urge, you know, more than others? Like, are you likely to act on those feelings when you are stressed or a kind of upset? Are you? Yes. When I'm happy and when I see a well-endowed woman. Okay. Thank you for opening up to me. All right? I want you to know it is a journey. And we will take it one step at a time. Okay? It doesn't matter if things don't get right overnight. But then, the most important thing is that you have, you know, owned up, you are bold, and you are committed to making a difference. I congratulate you for that. Uh, I will see you twice in a week. And uh, before then, I want you to keep a journal. A journal? Yes. A journal of when the urge comes, you know, what happens, you know, your emotions physically, emotionally, psychologically, and we discuss that in our next session. So, our next session will be in my office. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Don't look in at my ass. Sorry. what it is. Are you sure you know what you're doing? Yeah. Yes, I do. Okay. Sir. So. Oh, come on. You need to stop. <laughs> stop it. You need to actually stop. <laughs> Therapy? I don't know. Maybe it will work. Maybe it won't. You just have to believe. Yeah. As you can see, 
I have a new person in our midst. Can you introduce yourself? My name is Ike. And I'm a sex addict. Good morning, sir. Do you need help? <laughs> no, I'm fine. And you know you don't always have to help me with everything, right? I do. <laughs> <laughs> you have a nice smile. <laughs> Thank you. What is it? You know, you're the first lady I've had a decent conversation with. A relationship that doesn't involve sex and touching. Are you serious? Yeah. I never have conversations with women. I, I usually don't know what to say to them. I just want to have sex and go. That's sad. Well, I'm glad to be your first. Cheers to that. <laughs> yeah, cheers to that. Where's Miss Kiki? Oh, uh, she stepped out, sir. Hello, sir. Where are you? I stepped out to run an errand. You left me alone? That's because I trust you. <laughs> when will you be back? I'll be back to pick you up. Okay. I'll try not to do anything stupid. I'll see you then. Morning. Morning. Dad? Yes, son? <laughs> what are you doing in my office? It's been four months now. What? <laughs> four months? Yes, I've been waiting for you to return this file. <sighs> I can't believe it's been four months. Congratulations. Already. Thank you, Dad. You know, I, I stopped counting when I started therapy. 
I'm going to call a board meeting and then announce that I will finally hand over to you when I retire. Wow. I can't believe it. I guess I did it. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. You know, I'm happy with this new person that I've become. Mm. Not being controlled by my desire. Mm. That's good. What's on? I guess how? Be leaving. Um, that? Yes. I am worried about something. What is it? Ever since you announced that Leo will be running for the same seat of the CEO, mm -hmm. he was happy with his position. He was loyal, humble. But now, I think you've made him want more. Mm. I, I don't know if he'll still be happy with his current position. Don't worry, son. I know what to do. <laughs> Congratulations, Sonsu. Thank you, Dad. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, you are aware that I'll be leaving by the end of October as a chairman of the board and, of course, the chief executive officer of this organization. And then um, we shortly says two gentlemen uh, to compete to replace me when I retire. So, therefore, after um, um, rigorous exercises, uh, the two men have proved their middle. However, somebody has to emerge. And um, uh, my son, Mr. I.K. Chuku Azubike, uh, is going to take over for me as the chief executive officer and chairman of the board of this company. Congratulations, son. Um, Mr. Leonard Ajayi will run the cosmetic arm of our conglomerate as the new general manager. If you make 25% of profit in a year, then the company will revert to you. What? Congratulations. Oh, for you. I am. Uh, so, uh, I'll sort out the details with the, the company legal advisor so that um, you sign the necessary papers. Congratulations. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, uh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, it's been a pleasure uh, sitting on this chair. Uh, by the next board meeting, it will now be chaired by him. Did it go? Of course, you're looking at the CEO of Azubike Group of Companies. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my goodness. I'll get us a drink. Um, 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 you know that I couldn't have done this without you. I was only doing my job. It was more than a job. Thank you. wanted to do this.
you've made a tremendous progress. I like that. But sex addiction, like every other addiction, is a continuous fight. Uh, if I may ask, do you still attend your group meetings? Yeah, but I'm thinking of stopping. No, not yet. You might think you've won. And when you are not looking, it might trip you. Yes. If there is any day, any time that you feel like you need my assistance, don't hesitate to call me. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm gonna live my life. Oh, I'm gonna be me. One day at a time. One day at a time. I'm gonna live my life. Oh, I'm gonna be me. One day at a time. Yeah. One day. I'm gonna live my life